entire universe is made up of three types of substances, matter, dark matter, and dark energy. Matter is something that makes us, and everything that we can see, touch, or interact with. But there is a bigger and more dominant side of matter, dark matter. To understand its existence, we will have to go 300 years back in time. Born in June 1730, Charles Messier was a bright French astronomer. Messier was fascinated by comets. Every night, he would go out and observe distant comets. One night, Messier saw something that changed cosmology forever. He observed some fuzzy objects in the sky. Upon further investigation, he found that those fuzzy objects were not comets. Instead, it was something else. However, he was worried that other comet hunters might confuse them for comets. So, he made a list of objects in the sky that were not comets. He talked about star clusters and spiral nebulae visible in the night sky in his list. Everyone understood what the star clusters were, as the name states, but the fuzzy spiral nebulae kept astronomers in the dark for the next two centuries. 200 years later, in the 1920s, Edwin Hubble put this matter to rest by confirming that these fuzzy spiral nebulae are galaxies, and there are many more of them. With this confirmation, galaxies became a point of discussion among astronomers. During the 1930s, when astronomers studied the motion of distant galaxies, their calculations did not fit with their rotational speed. Based on the amount of matter present in those galaxies and the speed at which they were rotating, they must fall apart. Astronomers calculated that the amount of matter in these galaxies does not have enough gravitational pull to hold them at their rotational speed. This discovery made them wonder, what else could be holding these galaxies together? Astronomers made various calculations based on the visible mass of those galaxies. Every analysis indicated one thing. There is an invisible mass whose gravitational force is keeping the galaxies together. Something is there that astronomers have missed for so long, and it is not normal matter. The answer came in the form of a missing piece of the universe, dark matter. Dark because we can't see it, and matter because it interacts with ordinary matter in the form of gravity. It is the gravitational force of dark matter that holds most of the galaxies in our universe together. If dark matter were to disappear from our universe today, our own Milky Way galaxy would fall apart. Most stars would lose their orbit and scatter in the universe. We can't see dark matter directly because it does not emit any electromagnetic radiation but there are ways in which we can confirm its presence. One of them is gravitational lensing. As explained by Albert Einstein, mass distorts the fabric of spacetime. As light travels through this distorted spacetime, its path gets diverted based upon the object's mass. The same phenomenon has been observed in the case of dark matter. The gravity of dark matter has been found to distort the fabric of spacetime, causing the gravitational lensing effect in places where it should not be. Astronomers have found that light is being deflected in space where little mass is present. Through this effect, we can trace the presence of dark matter everywhere in our galaxy. There was a time when astronomers thought that dark matter was just a new type of particle of ordinary matter that does not emit light. But this idea does not hold any ground. Dark matter is unlike anything we have ever seen. Dark matter is passing through your body right now. You can't feel it, as it doesn't interact with the ordinary matter. Another possibility is that our current understanding of gravity is incomplete. Some astronomers believe that dark matter is not from our world at all. It comes from a higher dimension or a higher world. But for some reason, the gravity of dark matter is leaking into our universe. If that is the case, it will prove that gravity can travel between multiple dimensions 
and open doors to new worlds.